What's up guys, ZFG here, bringing you another OOT 100% speedrun video. Hello. <clears throat> What's up guys? Robot voice. Am yeah, I robot voice now? Better? No? Fixed? Yes? No? Hello? Hi. Okay. Not a ZFG stream without audio issues in the beginning. I don't know what's going on with my audio. This didn't used to happen. Be done routing in time for the PC port. People have been talking about this PC port that's supposedly coming out soon. You know it's gonna be the Master Quest debug ROM, right? Like, the it'll be a PC port of the Master Quest debug ROM, not like a regular 1.0 or 1.2 game. It's gonna be very awkward, and people are gonna be confused. Can't wait to play OT on PC. I mean, it'll at least be nice to have a better source to play OT on PC than emulator. At least I'll be able to ditch emulator if I need to test something on PC. Well, once a proper port is done, not Master Quest debug ROM. So if Bunnyhood TTG is always gonna be locked behind like nine heart deaths, like two nine heart deaths minimum, I don't think it's even worth considering. Plus the more difficulty and complexity of it anyway. Whereas we kind of got spooky TTG down to relatively consistent levels. Could we move Garuda Valley somewhere? Yes, m just move the entire Garuda Valley. Let's just move Garuda Valley over to Death Mountain. Oh, dude, you know what else we can do? We can do the fog glitch and not save any time and go out of the way for it. But we can do it because it's raining here. Wait, nine? Hold on, hold on. Is that... Does this route actually have nine deaths already? Go offline right now? No, I will not stop my stream just to help someone's sleep schedule. It's up to you to sleep well. Uh, well, yeah, Skirty. So the thing about this section is even though you don't get to use Furrow's Wind in dungeons much, it's hardly even a downside because Furrow's Wind is set right in front of the Master Sword pedestal, which means we can go back to Child like super quickly. And also because we're not, because we don't have to BA over B again, uh, we keep Furrow's Wind on B for the next adult section, even without the proper like BA setup for it, because Furrow's Wind just stays on B since we never turn it into bottle. So even though this section is going to be a technically short section, because we can't use Frozen on B much, it's it also acts as the setup for Adult 2's Furrow's Wind. Yeah, it's really cool. It works out really nicely. That was essentially the thing that convinced me that this was worth testing, because at first I thought it seemed like a lot of work for not much of a significant wrong warp, and then it's like, but then acting as the setup for Adult 2, and then also a shorter cutscene than, um, it's a shorter cutscene than the old Spirit Wrong Warp, and we get to Spirit early and get Requiem and stuff. It, this route actually has a lot of pluses. No idea how much this might save. I, I feel like an upper estimate would be maybe three minutes. Like, if everything really goes super well, I could see three minutes being saved more realistically like one or two what's this more pokemon stuff oh my god i can see the frames that is three frames per second that is a, a flipbook and no flipbook animation is better than that oh yeah yeah i did see it gets better when that close up but still even the the low frame rate far away version is still npcs do that too nice Dude, surely this game could have done better. I mean, it sounds like people are saying it's actually a good game, minus the incredibly poor visual quality of it. Quite boring, really. Now he says two out of five, dang. But yeah, visually the game, it just looks like an embarrassment. Like the Switch is underpowered, but it's not that underpowered. Come on. Switch hardware is shit, I, I do not doubt that, but I, I think it's better than what they are doing with it. Yeah, if it can run Breath of the Wild and um, like Switch has other games that can do that similar open world style that still look much better. Breath of the Wild and Monster Hunter and isn't like Skyrim and Witcher on Switch also. Yeah, I remember seeing stuff of Monster Hunter and it I, I initially I didn't even realize it was a Switch game. I was like, why? Surely this is not on Switch, right? 
Like, if you sit Pokemon and Monster Hunter side by side, they don't look like they're on the same system. The future will never be pure PC gaming because casuals are bad at PC gaming. Consoles will always be way too good for the casual audience. Am I a casual? I am a super casual. All I play is Nintendo games. What does that say about me? Yeah, I mean, I won't deny that PC gaming is superior experience-wise, but yeah, it's just casuals. Not all the casuals are going to go out and get their 3080s and their optimal PC setups and whatever. 3080 to play OOT. I mean, that's basically what I did. I got a 3070 Ti so I can stream OOT at higher quality. Thoughts on turning X American Wasteland? I didn't like it when I initially played it as a kid. And then I heard a lot of good things about it, like after the remakes came out, because I loved the remakes. And then I wanted to go play it again, and then I didn't. But I want to try playing American Wasteland again, and maybe I'll like it this time. Yeah, I want to try out Thug Pro. I meant to do that, and then I never did. Uh, after Hundo, no SRM, probably back to Hundo SRM or Master Quest. I want to do, yeah, M Master Quest Hundo and Hundo no SRM are the things I would want to do afterwards. It's probably best if I do Master Quest first. There'd be more stuff transferable. I will never ever run Dank Percent. What makes me happy? I don't know. Why are we going back to no SRM? Because I want to run no SRM. SRM did not get nuked. It's just that less people are working on SRM stuff nowadays because partially being burned out on a lot of stuff from so many people doing a lot of SRM stuff for so long. And also SRM is just like super complicated. A lot of stuff needs to be rerouted with Lightnode and it gets even more complicated with that. I'm sure people will come back to SRM eventually. It's just that right now the complexity of routing plus the burnout from doing it a lot is kind of... People just kind of like, let's try no SRM again. SRM is not boring to watch. Dude, how do people find SRM boring to watch when I'm like flying around with F boots and warping across the map and everything? It's so cool, dude. SRM is amazing. Same way casual doesn't like back walking. Now, I, I feel like people misunderstand SRM a lot just because of the item SRM. I feel like a lot of people see item SRM and then see, oh, SRM just gives you stuff boring and then don't really fully realize how much more there is to SRM than just that. Yeah, and harder to understand as a casual viewer. I do think, I do understand that part. Like, I know, uh, oh my god, dude, come on. I know it's probably really hard to understand as a casual viewer. And you at least, like, even though it's not super obvious what's going on in no SRM, it's at least closer to, you know, gameplay. Ocarina Din's lens. And prepare for... Don't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we're not doing late serenade. That's something I forgot about. Oh yeah, it would give you black gauntlets, yeah, but um, we get yeah we get gold gauntlets later on, so it wouldn't really affect gauntlets in any way. But I should, for accuracy, do that. Yes, black omelets, the most important item in the game. You shouldn't exist, you noob. You use bugs to play. You are so noob. <laughs> Got me. What does you use bugs to play even mean? He's just making an observation of all the times that I drop and pick up bugs. I do indeed use many bugs when playing. Oh, there's a cool new strat here. Check this out. Yeah, there we go. MM on NSO is potentially going to be very bad because... Uh, so Mutant did a test with injecting MM onto NSO and seeing how it would run. And this isn't the best test because, like, there are emulator hacks that Nintendo uses to, like, improve performance and stuff. And this is without... This is the base emulator, no hacks. But, um... Something really funny that the game does is that anytime the game uses motion blur, which in MM is a lot, the screen just freezes and decides to just not render anything that uses motion blur, which means any cutscene that uses motion blur is a still image until the motion blur stops.
So um, again, that's with a base emulator, no hacks as it currently is in 1.2. Of course, they might be improving it. Although, see, the scary thing about it is that it wasn't like that on 1.0. In 1.0, I think, what was it? It just like crashed or something or it like overlaid. There was some, it had some like really weird glitch with it on 1.0. So it changed between 1.0 and 1.2, which means they are working on it. But then even in 1.2, the screen just freezes. And also MM is supposed to come out soon anyway. So if they have been changing it, but it's not changed to the full version that MM is supposed to have, then like that's kind of worrisome for MM. It's definitely not an issue of them not noticing. There's no way they just straight up don't notice. But it's definitely an issue that they seem to have trouble fixing. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, I would definitely not say NSO is better than 3DS, no. OT3D for casual play is definitely the best way to play. Minus the fact that you have to play it on a 3DS, but if you don't mind that part, then uh, OT3D is easily the best casual way to play. Oh my god. How did MM3D go so badly then? I My theory is that they saw criticisms of OT3D being, oh, they didn't really add new content or anything or whatever. And they probably saw that and they're like, okay, we got to improve MM. We got to make it different and stuff. And then they did that. Oh, this is why you get ladder HP. Okay. Uh, I think that kind of sucks. Dude, this is all Lon Lon's fault. I hate Lon Lon. Why is Lon Lon messing everything up? You know what would almost be good? Zero, zero, zero. Except the problem with zero, zero, zero is that it's in the worst spot possible for Lake Hylia. It's like out of bounds in some stupid place. Look at where zero, zero, zero is. See where I am on the map? For some reason, zero, zero, zero is all the way out here. This would be so perfect. It's such a perfect use for zero, zero, zero. But for some reason, the map is way off. No, it can't be hit with anything but a bomb. Even if it could be hit by a slingshot, it's an incredibly tiny hitbox. Found fishing in Ochi and TV very relaxing. It's funny because everyone, everyone always loves fishing casually and then hates fishing when they become a speedrunner. Same thing in TP. Okay, but I, I think I'm going to stop here for now because I want to think of... Um, some other ways to fix up the sun songs in child 2 offline but yeah i think i'm gonna stop here for now guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed but i'll see you later for now Bye bye